Hey guys, Indigo Priestess here, official Indigo Priestess, also known as Santera Lucera to some of you. Um, that name will soon be disappearing completely. Um, I'm just trying to, if you still remember me as that name, um, yeah, welcome back. Okay guys, so the spell casting do's and don'ts. Okay, I felt I needed to make this video because there's still a lot of don'ts happening when it comes to spell casting. So if you are new to spell casting or you would like to um, um, get someone to cast spells, it's very important that you ask specific questions. You ask them how long do they work it for? Do they draw in on the energy of the individual and your energy and place it into the materials as I do and some other spell casters out there? Are they drawing in on the energy, the entity's energy? Are they putting in the hard work? Are they exhausted after they cast a spell? The truth is, I don't care what anyone says, and I've got a lot of spell caster friends out there. When you are feeling exhausted after casting a spell, rest assured you have casted that spell correctly. Okay? And sometimes I cast up to 10 spells a day, then that is why I. I go so hard at the gym just to get that extra boost, you know, and energy so that I can do my invocations. You have to put energy, not just spirit's energy or the energy around you into the spell work. You've got to put your own energy into it as well. Remember, we are gods. We are part of gods. We are part of source. So whatever God can do, we can do too. And I don't care what anyone says or whoever wants to disagree. That's your opinion. We respect each other's opinions. I'm speaking from my life experience and from what's worked for me and what's worked for my, my clients, my students, and my friends out there that are also fellow uh, spellcasters and spiritual heal healers, etc. So guys, very important, when you cast a spell, make sure that your energy is not disruptive. So when I say this, make sure that your energy is basically either leveled or at a high vibration. Don't let your energy be chaotic. So if you had a stressful day, try and do, um, you know, um, try and do like um, a little bit of meditation or listen to some drumming or calming music just to get your vibration to relax and ease out. That way you can focus on the situation at hand. You can properly connect to the entity. You can um, correctly send your own energy through and visualize correctly because you are now at a a, a calmer vibration but still remaining high okay so it's really important as well that when you cast a spell make sure that there is no toxic people in your environment at that time when you are casting a spell that is the other don'ts as well so you do not want toxic people in your environment also <clears throat> my apologies for the cough um, keep your your altar space clear if it's not spells or not offerings to the entity, do not put anything else on it, like a bowl of, of chips or something or a cool drink. That space needs to stay clean and it needs to be only used for spirituality and for the entities that you are working with and have a relationship with and for the spells that you are casting. Okay, so very important, keep your space clear. Don't work in a home where there's negativity in or clear your home, your space before you have to help other people out there. Make sure that you are mentally stable. And I will say this again, make sure that you are mentally stable and there are no forms of imbalances within your brain when you are casting a spell. Remember, science and spirituality is linked. If you feel any form of illnesses, whether it's mental illnesses or physical illnesses, heal yourself first and then go ahead and work with someone else's energy so you can heal them. So when you come before um, your altar space to cast a spell, Make sure that you are feeling one with the universe, that you are calm. Hold no hatred towards anyone from your past or anyone that has tried to interfere with you. The past stays in the past. Negativity stays in, the ne um, um, in that negative space, which is in the past. And you focus on what needs to be focused on, which is your client's work or your spell at hand. 
So guys, this is just a short video on how to um, cast spells and how to successfully cast spells. And sometimes set specific spells you'll feel energetically needs to be worked longer. And in that type of cases, work it longer. Always be open and honest with your clients and, and, and with yourself when you are casting a spell as well. Always be caring and willing to speak to your clients, even if it's over messages. That is very important to reply to each and every one of your clients and not be late for your reply. And if it's you may be a little bit late, and just make sure you treat them all with respect and you reply to everyone and see them not just as clients, but also as your fellow brothers and sisters who you are determined to help and to heal. Guys, if you need any forms of spells, my information is in the description box. Stay tuned for more content. Like, subscribe, follow. I'm on Instagram. I am on, on um, I think, yeah, TikTok. Um, I have my own website and you can also contact me through my email. Like, subscribe and bye for now. Stay tuned. Love you all. Ciao, ciao.